everyone so today I am doing my monthly favorites these are my January favorites and kind of like before that as well some of the things I'm going to show you are actually things I kind of wanted to show in my 2017 favorites but it was a little bit premature since I've only been using them for like you know the last couple of months but anyway let's jump straight in I've got loads of stuff to show you and like some total new holy grails like bleh. I'm in love <laughs> first of all the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow I want every single shade of this product because I'm obsessed. I'm going to show you a few of my favorites. You have seen me use these in about two or three of my tutorials and I just use them in my real life as well. <laughs> real life sounds so weird, you know, like my everyday life off camera. They are so pretty. I like to use them just like all over the lid in a corner. They are beautiful, pigmented, shimmery, glowy. They don't crease, they don't fade, they don't transfer, they stay put and they are just so incredible. So these definitely deserve a huge shout out. If you have not tried them yet and you love like glowy, glittery products, you need to. These are like 10 out of 10. They're amazing. So I'm going to swatch some. So this one here is Smoldering Satin. Holy crap. Like, come on. Kitten Karma, which is so pretty on the inner corner. I love that one. Rose Gold Retro. Oh my god. I think this is the one I wore on New Year's Eve in my New Year's Eve get ready with me video. I'll put it down below. This one is Smoky Storm, which is the most perfect taupe color. Like, holy crap, look at that. I am going to be a broken record in this video because... And then finally, something a little bit fun. This is Sunset Cove. I wore this to a festival and received a lot of compliments. It's a lovely, like, light lilac-y pink kind of duochrome color. Yes, I will list this makeup tutorial down below. Next up is a foundation. You guys have seen my first impression on this, I'm sure. I will link it down below also. And down below, I will also link my review and comparison of this foundation versus my YSL Fusion Ink foundation, which is like $100 more or something like that. This is super affordable. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I have just been loving this. In my first impression, loads of you guys did agree. Loads of you guys went out and bought it. It's sold out in so many different places, but a few of you guys did say that you hate it so you do need to look up reviews on this product for me it works super well it is so lightweight the coverage is really beautiful it's buildable and it doesn't fade on my face throughout the day which is a miracle but yeah it's so cheap and the colors are amazing it doesn't oxidize or anything like that like it looks so good throughout the day so I'm very happy with this find once again check the down bar for my first impression and reviews and stuff next up is a eyeliner that I actually bought for my I think it was my best sellers on Mecca was it or highest rated on Mecca I don't know I'll link it down below this is the Tom Ford eye defining pen and I am obsessed with this I've been using it pretty much almost every single time I've done my liquid eyeliner since that video I've taken it traveling with me it's just so trustworthy like I know when I use this my eyeliner is gonna look good I am using it today it is just so easy to use it's so black like so pigmented and super pitch black and matte and it just lasts all day it doesn't crack fade smudge anything it's just so good the only thing I don't like about it is it's double-sided with the small side and for some reason on myself the small side bleeds however the normal side which is the side I use it looks like this with a longer brush tip this side doesn't bleed so I don't know what the deal is but it's fine I just use the side it is very expensive but I definitely can see myself repurchasing this because that's how much I like it the little brush is so easy to use. Next up is something I don't think I've actually used on my channel but I've used it a couple of times in real life and I just had to mention it because it is pretty amazing. This is the Parquet Princess Chrome Paint Shadow Pot by Tarte. I like to apply this with my finger to get a really shimmery effect. I'll swatch it in a second. Or I use a brush like this one. This one is dirty. I need to clean it but this is the round eye brush. I use something like this to buff it out. So if I use, this is dirty but you'll get an idea. If I use the brush you can really like feather it out and it still gives that bit of shine but like look how soft that is and then if I use my finger it is like molten liquid and it's so shiny look at that if it wants to focus oh my god it's amazing so the way I use this is I simply take my finger and I put it all over my eyelid and then I take my round eye brush and buff out the edges into the crease even though it's got that kind of sheen to it in the crease it still looked so amazing I paired it up with a red lip 
and oh my goodness I was obsessed this stuff lasts all at night it didn't crack or fade or crease or anything like that on me and the pigmentation like it's just so stunning I love the color and I believe it comes in different shades as well I need to check that but yeah I love it I could stare at the swatch all day long look at that that's like the tiniest amount too and it's still on my finger like it goes for miles next up let's switch it up with some body slash skincare product I actually have a few skincare products and I am so stoked with all of them there's more makeup too but anyway this is the Timmy green tea facial scrub holy moly I have been using this to death ever since I received it I've been like on a bit of a exfoliating buzz lately like trying out lots of new facial exfoliators and this is definitely one of my favorites it's made in the USA not tested on animals this is not sponsored I have been sponsored by Timmy on my vlog channel but this is not sponsored this is legit so this is how much I have used it so far I probably use it every second day sometimes every third day if I forget but it is so good so my skin gets really really gunky I have to exfoliate quite often because my dead skin cells just build up so quickly I end up getting blackheads my skin feels really rough and it just doesn't look great like it starts looking very dull so exfoliating obviously solves that problem this one here I love because it is so gentle but it's still like very hardcore if that makes any sense like it's so hydrating but it's still so scrubby at the same time like the texture you will not know what I mean until you try it yourself it's almost like a whipped kind of texture and it smells like matcha tea which I love Oh, so good. But yeah, once I use this on my skin, my skin feels so soft, so smooth, and so hydrated. It's like magic. This here is a body product. I've talked about this in the past actually but I just wanted to mention it because I've been using it to death this past like month or so here in New Zealand it's summer and sometimes I just cannot be bothered fake tanning so I've been actually using this just alone I use it with my loving tan at tanning mitt and I just like buff it over my pale skin and I use the shade dark I think there's a dark one in this as well but I use the shade dark most often and it just gives my skin a fake tan look or like it looks natural really but you know what I mean it gives my skin a tan and it's instant and it washes off and it's also got the shimmer through it which makes your skin look super hydrated and just glowing I love this stuff I have used it in a video in the past actually I think I've used it in a couple of videos in the past but it's so legit I also use it on top of my like fake tan skin sometimes as well just to give like an extra boost of color make my tan darker give me like a bit of shimmer and hydration this one's actually a brand new bottle because my one I'm using at the moment is in my life because I'm packing it for the Maldives I'm off to the Maldives next week probably by the time you see this video I'm either there or back but this is how it looks it is a beautiful beautiful color and if I just put it here like usually I use a mitt like I said because it's a little bit less messy but you can use your fingers if you want and it just gives you the most beautiful instant bronze and it's so pretty let's go back to makeup quickly so this hair is by charlotte tilbury this is like a rediscovery i think i mentioned this in one of my favorites videos like a year or two ago but this is the full fat lashes mascara and it is so good i just wear this alone like in my real life everyday life and it makes my lashes so thick curly and voluminized voluminized is that the word voluminized voluminous Oh my gosh, I can't even like think of what the word is. Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, it does it all. It's so good. I love this mascara. It's so black. It's so beautiful. It's so easy to use. The formula is so perfect. It's not too thick, not too runny. I'll show you the wand. It just looks like this. It's a very standard wand, but it works really, really well. Obviously, Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more of an expensive brand, but if you're looking to try a new mascara, I definitely recommend trying this one. I've been loving it. Back to skincare quickly. So I've just started using this. I've used it about five times, and I I actually like to use it before I do my makeup. So this is the Toucha Gold Camella, Camella, Camella Beauty Oil. No, Camellia. Camellia? Camellia Beauty Oil by Toucha. You can use this on the face, body, or hair for deep hydration. I don't know what it is about this oil versus like my rosehip oil or my jojoba oil or my sunflower seed oil or anything like that. It's just so good. I've been loving using this before I do my makeup. It just makes my skin so plump and hydrated. It makes my makeup glide on top. Like I honestly don't know why it's better than the others, but I just feel like it is better than the others. Just for hydration, like I'm just putting on my fingers and oh my gosh. First of all, it smells amazing and it just soaks in so quickly it's actually very very lightweight compared to the other oils I've just mentioned like it's very very liquidy and I just don't know like it just works it's so so hydrating plus the packaging is absolutely like adorable like look at that 
If you're looking to spend a bit more on your skincare, like I definitely love this. I'm going to continue to use it at night as well. And I'll update you guys once I've used it all up, what I thought of it, final thoughts kind of thing. Next up is blush. Is it a surprise? Because I mean, I've been using this blush in almost every single makeup tutorial lately for the last couple of months. This is by Viseart and it is the Professional Preview Blush Palette in the shade 2, Rose Coral. I want to buy all of the colors because this formula is just so incredible and the colors are so beautiful. I think the only colors I haven't used yet are the two darkest ones because I kind of feel like I'd use them more in autumn, winter. Here in New Zealand it is spring, summer so I've been using these two colors the most and then sometimes I'll mix them together. Obviously like the swatches are not going to do them justice because they look so much better actually on the face but you can see the pinky color and the coral color like especially this one. I'm so obsessed with it. The formula of these are just so soft and smooth, easy to blend, pigmented but not too over the top although you do need to be careful with the darker colors of course especially if you're fair like I am the formula is just amazing these are very expensive but I feel like if you are a makeup artist this is gonna have almost anything you need especially since you can mix them together and also for like any skin tone it's really made me fall in love with blush all over again I'm a huge huge fan of this so yeah I definitely want to try some more of the colors because I just can't get enough of this for the longest time I was either just using my clinic pop blushes or I was kind of like skipping blush and just using bronzer I've taken this like every Every time I travel as well I love it so much if I take it with me when I travel that's how you know I like it <laughs> and then the final product I'm going to talk to you about today is a face mask and I've used this about three times in this last month even though it looks very full obviously you only need a little bit at once so this is gonna last me a very long time it's got my muddy fingerprints on it anyway <laughs> this is the origins clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores and I am just so impressed with this. For a charcoal mask, like a lot of the time they're quite heavy feeling. This one's quite thin and you put it on and it dries really, really like thin. Like it doesn't feel too heavy when you wear it. I know that doesn't really matter, but I just like it. It says on the back here, active charcoal acts like a magnet to draw out deep dwelling pore cloggers. The white china clay absorbs environmental toxins and then lecithin lecithin dissolves impurities without all that stuff down there skin breathes a sigh of relief honestly when i use this i just genuinely feel like my skin feels soft it looks clearer my pores aren't as obvious i get very huge pores down here this is like my problem area i get pimples and blackheads and i've started getting more blackheads on my nose as i get older i just really think it works very very well i love origins face masks i don't think i've actually used one yet that i haven't liked but i just really really like this one so often when i've done a face mask I have reached for this one and actually the other one I've been reaching for a lot is the one that looks like this It's like the same brand in the same range. It's like the face mask version though. If you look on the website, you'll see it I love that one too. But yeah, just thought I would mention that because I've really been enjoying it I might even use that later tonight because I'm just thoroughly enjoying it So those are all of my favorites for this month I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found something new to try Let me know down below if you're interested in any of these products and which ones and let me know what your favorite product of the month is because as always I'm always looking for new stuff to try and if there's anything you think I should be trying you gotta let me know because a girl's gotta help a girl out okay I will talk to you guys in my next video have a really amazing day bye